The first step is to remove the branches. Then Enchzaya saws out a notch in the trunk. For the past week, she and her fellow trainees have been learning which trees to fell, how to build a fire break, and other aspects of forest management. I really enjoy the work outdoors. Cutting up a tree trunk isn't hard. Making sure you don't damage other younger trees is. We're in Selenga province in northern Mongolia, 200 kilometers north of the capital Ulaanbaatar. This forest, comprised of fir, pine, birch and larch trees, is used for training purposes. Budding foresters from the town of Zunkara come here every couple of months for field experience. The mountains of Selenga extend to the southern border of the Siberian taiga. The famed coniferous forests are retreating north as they shrink, however. Climate change has been a primary factor. As temperatures rise, permafrost thaw increases. Excessive moisture causes tree roots to start rotting and then die. That, in turn, endangers the natural habitats of deer, bear, wolf and moose populations. The booming Mongolian economy, with its growing hunger for wood and fuel, is another culprit. Meanwhile, mining companies need huge amounts of water for washing gold. Most of it evaporates and is not returned to the rivers. Drier air near the ground means more forest fires. Mongolia has advanced environmental protection laws, but still lacks the qualified staff to implement them. The college in Zunkara is training the next generation of foresters and environmental engineers, with textbooks written together with German experts. Trainees learn how to nurture young trees and how many trees per hectare they can harvest sustainably. That expertise will also have to be passed on to their successors. The college particularly welcomes applications from women. Enchzaya's parents were very happy when she told them she wanted to become a forester. My father has a patch of land leased for 60 years from the government. Every time I come home from school, my parents give me more encouragement. It's a hobby for us, they say, but you can make it your profession. The college also has cooperative programs with other partner companies, such as this sawmill. The idea is to ensure that Enchzaya and her fellow students have employment in the future. In the long term, the government wants to see only approved firms selling timber. To gain that status, companies have to have environmental engineers on board. Within the next three years, Mongolia will have a thousand more homegrown experts in the field. It's their output that could determine whether the taiga survives.